So this is a Home Light ZR series uh, weed whacker, and we're gonna be cleaning it up today, showing you how to clean up one of these to get them running again when they're not running. Um, we're gonna get started here in a second. We found this in the, uh, basically on the side of the road, and it is non-operational, but we're gonna try to make it operational today to show you some means that you have to get one of these up and running if it comes to it. All right, let's do this. Right now we're gonna be checking the spark plug and see what's going on with the spark plug. And as you can see, it's a standard start, uh, spark plug right there. And this is just a spark plug tester that we're gonna be hooking up to it. get a spark it should be in here got one red beautiful awesome yep okay first thing you got to do is check the air filter put this off as you can see the air filter not doing too well okay take this off this is pretty nasty too we have to The carburetor. Always have something like this so you know what screws uh, go where, you know what screws need to be going back in the device. Don't play around and put them on the floor. Always have a container for them. I'm learning too, man. All right. Now in this model here, they attach. They come around over here. That's the cable and the shut off. Mm -hmm. to it. that out uh, yeah yeah okay but you could see the gook yeah not you that <laughs> i'm learning man i'm learning too don't worry <laughs> if you ever need me to cut just say cut and then we'll take a break just cut talking yeah all right <laughs> all right spray out a little bit yeah let me get on this other side we're gonna start with the primer ball. So take the primer ball off. Two screws. Hold it. Pull it. Primer ball. Looks good. No cracks. This is your primer ball. On this model, it's a very small primer ball. Just a couple sizes. You want this in there? First 
size. Got it. Okay, by looking in here, there's a little bit of debris inside the screen. We're gonna take the screen out. Just double check it, make sure you got light to it. But I like to do it because these things are so small and they'll take off on you. And a chance you can clamp it. You can look up through it. You can see the debris and stuff inside yeah, there. Yeah, it's there. Here, you can see oily residue, bad gas, leftover oil and stuff. It's not exactly terrible. So, the next one we're going to do is the bottom of it. Hold this. Fill it with screws. And this comes underneath here, there's a diaphragm. Diaphragm was pretty worn out, but yep, that's definitely worn out. Pull this off. Diaphragm is supposed to be loose and flow like that. Okay, with this one, you can hear it. Yeah, I hear it. That's not supposed to be that. Okay, and it's not supposed to sit like that. It's supposed to be nice and loose and flexible. Okay, that's one of our problems right there. Next, when you're taking out the spring in the, in the gas uh, tank, you want to be very careful to put your finger over the top because that spring will get up and go and you won't find it. Okay, most of the time you don't have to take the screw all the way out, you can take it partially out. Pull this over. Away from the screw. Once you get it loose, you need to pull this apart. Put that in there. And then your screw. By the way, this is the diaphragm and this and the spring all work together on like a hinge. This is a hinge right here. So when the diaphragm is sitting on top of this, okay, it's gonna be like that, and gas is gonna come in. Once the gas comes in, the diaphragm goes up and this will close back down to shut the gas off. Okay, so this is something that goes like this. And it lifts uh, this little... That sucker's stuck in there. Okay, this little pin down in here. Okay. This pin is what shuts off the gas and lets the gas come on. So you got all three. You got your, you got your diaphragm. Okay, and this little stick right there, whatever you want to call it, is what hits this here. Up and down. This one ain't doing it because it's it's gone. No more. This is junk. Okay, so that works with this. It pushes this in. It lets fuel in. It lets fuel out. Got it. Okay. Now, on this model, okay, remember I said the diaphragm operates this with the spring. Mm -hmm. okay. The gas goes out here, goes in here, through here. But in the meantime, the gas comes through this line right here, comes up through this one, and then back down, and then up again through here back around, up here, and then close into there. That's why these flaps are actually small diaphragms. They, they adjust the flow. Okay, and the gas comes through here. Like I said, up, down, up, down, hits this, and then goes into here for the flow. This over here would be your fuel, Speed adjustment, your idle speed adjustment, sorry. 
This in makes it go faster, out makes it go slow. Awesome. Here is a dirty part for it. Bad diet here. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this in the house and you dawn dish the turd. That's pretty good. Again, fill it up with water. And bring it up to a boil. And I watch it. So I turn it down and I just let it sit there. And then I'll rinse. But remember, when you rinse it, the spring doesn't only spring. Alright, we'll be back with you in a minute, guys. Alright, so we're back from the kitchen. This is, if you don't have the high-tech stuff, this is what I use. Don this detergent. That's pretty good. Boil it halfway up. Watch it. When it starts boiling, get it off, let it sit. Clean it up, then rinse it very gently so it don't lose everything. A little cleaner. I still gotta blow it off with the air hose. Bring it out here and let it sit. Spring, you don't have to do nothing. The only reason I did it was because it was really, really oiled up all through the place. Okay. This is another diaphragm. If you can look in that, you can probably see how dirty that sucker was. I'm gonna spray this down with a little bit of uh, starting fluid. Pretty. I'm outside, so I gotta watch myself with these things because they will fly. Yeah. I like to put things on them. Let me hit this with a little starting fluid, it might be faster. Much better. Yeah. Alright. Okay, so that's them two. Three stings, sorry. Now, when it comes to this guy, I think he's seen his day. Yeah, it's over. That might be the major issue right there. Most likely. a little bit. 
See that little white light at the end of the tunnel there? Means gas is gonna go. Yeah. See, it's just right to it. You barely can see it, but it's just a dim little light that proves that it's clear. Okay, so first thing is we're going to reinstall the screen. We can come around here, get a better angle. The screen is very light. Just want to get it and it sit down inside there. Okay, now worries are over on that part. Okay, get this back on. These are basically adult Legos for some of the viewers. If you know what you're doing, if you have experience doing it, it's just like Legos, but for adults. Taking something apart, putting it back together. Yeah, but you're cleaning it. Yeah, and cleaning it. Okay, next. Yeah, I did. If I wasn't outside, I would probably put this on last, but since we're here, we're doing it. Okay, get your spring. Found one. The match is perfect. So we're gonna get this 
get it installed. Let's screw it to it. Uh. I always zigzag my screws to the final one there. Then I come down the other side, across, and I put another one. Guaranteed not Okay, so the carburetor's good. I got that. How many cut? Yeah. Filming. Alright, I'm just cleaning things up here, guys. Get this thing ready to go. I'm gonna start with this. I'm gonna start with this. We're gonna get this. This is your kill switch right here on this one. Okay? thing about the whole job. You know you guys can do all this at home. Save yourself a ton of money. Cut? Nope. Keep going. Okay, so in this right here, we got our cable on. We got the shut off. We got our intake and outtake goes down into there. We cleaned the fuel filter. 
Now we're gonna put the case back on. There we go. Five minutes, I got to cut. Now. Next, we got to prime it. Turn this bitch up. Yep. Let's go. Good. Let's go around the bush. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You guys have a good day.